This type of agent is something that you can install on your desktop and you could give it a task like go book my next vacation. And then what it's going to do is all on its own. It's going to figure out what it needs to do. It's going to design its own tools. It's going to open up all of the different websites that it needs to do. It's going to do this all autonomously without you having to actually define all of these tools like we did here in N8N with the tool-based automation. You don't have to define a system prompt. You don't have to give it a memory. You don't have to define all of these different tools. It's simply going to take your input, open up your browser, and it's gonna to get to work and try to accomplish the task all on its own. Now, this is really cool, and I think it has a lot of possibilities, but right now, I don't feel like these types of agents are as effective for most people compared to the tool-based AI agent automations. And that's because while these agents are running, if they ever run up against a question that they cannot answer, they are going to stop and ask a question and they're gonna ask for help. They're gonna ask you, I'm not sure what to do. How do I get past this point? And you can imagine, depending on the complexity of the original question, this could happen a lot of times. Now, I'm sure these are gonna get smarter and smarter and smarter, but there are certain things that they just have to ask you in order to proceed. And when you think about business automations, most of the time when people are building these automations, they are trying to build them one time and they are trying to get them to run successfully 100% of the time without error to completion without any human intervention. For most business owners, when they spend $1,000 on an automation, they want that automation to provide a return. And for a lot of the people looking for automations right now, that means not having a human do the job. But if you have an agentic agent that is always stopping and asking for input, from a human, well, then you haven't really pulled the human out of the loop. That doesn't mean that this type of automation isn't useful or that it won't get better and need less human intervention in the future. But right now, if you're trying to profit off of AI automation, most business owners are looking for automations that are very stable, don't break, and consistently handle their task without any human intervention. And these tool-based AI automations with fewer tools that are more specific are very stable and can complete jobs in a consistent way without having to break down or have errors.